Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing the long awaited five pound challenge unstuffing. So we're gonna see how much I've managed to save just by putting fives to one side from my like shopping and spending every week. And I'm also gonna be unstuffing this binder here, which I've used uh, to help me save 500 pounds, which I'm gonna pay off my mortgage, pay off a chunk of my mortgage. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with this. I'm really sorry. If you're only here for the fivers, you can skip ahead. But I'm gonna start with unstuffing this, so I've got a bit of a bank, um, is the crack. So we'll count it up at the end and make sure it uh, comes to 500 quid. So, how are you all doing? How was your Christmas? I had a lovely day with my family. It was really nice. We don't have turkey, because I'm, well, some of us just aren't fans, so we have beef instead. I don't know if that's sacrilege or what, but we have a nice joint of beef for our Christmas day. What did you all have? And if you don't celebrate Christmas, how do you spend it? Because a lot, not a lot of stuff's open, is it? If you don't celebrate Christmas, what, what do you do? Do you just have a nice chilled out day with your family? Uh, what, what do you do? What do you do? Um, so, like I say, I've been doing this binder, I think since the springtime. I can't remember when I started it. And the whole premise is just to help me pay off chunks of my mortgage. So once this is um, all emptied out, we're going to start it again in the new year and do it again is basically the point. And I think I'll just keep using this design for now. But in future, I might change to a different one of my binders. I don't know. I'll see. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how much patter I've got left. Probably not very much. So, yeah, I hope you've had a nice day. It's Boxing Day now. Do you call it Boxing Day around the world? I don't know if you do. So Boxing Day is always the 26th of December, the day after Christmas in the UK. Uh, why is it called Boxing Day? Is it because you box up all your stuff? I don't know, I probably should have researched that. I've got no idea. It might be that actually, I don't know. So yeah, if you haven't, um, got one of these binders I mean I make them other people make them as well they're just really easy ways to save you get an envelope for each amount uh, you cross it off in the tracker on the first page which I'll show you in a second I hope this all adds up <laughs> actually I'm getting some tens that I need for future stuffings here which is really good so I'll um I'll do some changing of some money as well but this will all be going to the bank and I think I can just do it online uh, to pay off chunks. So there we go, that's the binder all emptied. That's the tracker at the front here where you cross off the amounts that you've saved. So I'll clean that all up and we'll start that again at some point. But let's see if this comes to 500 quid. I'm just gonna put some stuff on my fingers. Right, here we go. Right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500. Cracking. So 500 pound is in the mortgage binder so this will now come off my tally for what I've got in all my binders because I'm going to pay it straight off my mortgage so it won't now form part um, of the end of month tally to say I've got 500 quid so again my um, total in my binders will be less than yeah less than it was last month <laughs> and even less because I spent all the Christmas money right okay so that's it all done let's move on so here we go here's what we've been waiting for the five pound challenge is about to be counted now I've got some placeholders here just because whatever I stuff and wherever I put this it's mainly going to go towards western Balkans to be honest um I will just put this straight into the bank um because there's just too many fives here to put into an envelope. So I've got some placeholders here because I don't know how much this is. I don't think it's that. It's, it's nowhere near that. But I still might need that placeholder. So we shall see. Right. What's what's the what's the final guess? Here we go. This is the money here. 
we've had some good, well, we've had a lot of guesses. Lots around the 500 mark, so I don't know, we'll see. Right, are we ready? So we've got 5, 10, 15, 25. I'm gonna start that again. We've got 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 400. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. 555 quid. Wow. I'm over the moon with that. I'm really happy with that. This has been just from saving fives from my groceries and my spending every week. That's it. So I've managed to save 555 pounds, all the fives. <laughs> What's the chances of that? So what am I gonna do? Well, so 500-ish I wanna put towards Western Balkans. So my Western Balkans, oh, hold on a second, I'm not ready. Right, here we go. My Western Balkans, each of these aeroplanes are worth 30. So I need to have um, something where it's a multiple of 30. So is that, 510, I'm thinking it might be. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah, so 300 plus 210, that's divisible by 30, isn't it? So 510. Now, if this was 555, I won't count it again, don't worry. Then I need to take out 45. So 510, 15, 25, 35, 45. Right, so 45 quid there. So this should be 510, right? So what I'll do is put that in the bank here. So 510 and take back 510. Yep. So in going into the bank should be a, a grand. 500 from my mortgage binder and 500 from the five pound challenge, yes? I mean, I think so. So 510. So let's go to Western Balkans. And I'm adding 510, right. So let's first of all, change those around for a thousand and add in the 10. Right, okay, so in Western Balkans, I now have 1,050, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 45, 55, and 60. So 1,260, yeah. 1,260 now in Western Balkans, great. So let's now do some colouring in. Right, I do need a calculator for this. So 510 divided by 30. So I need to do 17 aeroplanes. Don't worry, I will fast forward. So one. Oh my goodness, how satisfying is that? Oh, I'm so happy about that. So the next thing that's going to go towards this is Scouse Girl and I actually really want to try and finish Scouse Girl really soon because I've got quite a few challenges to start uh, in the new year. So let's get rid of that and bring in Scouse Girl. Right, this <laughs> envelope, look at it. I probably could use that again next year but this is broke and that's the problem. So that's a shame because I did like that final. Uh, okay, never mind. Right. So, Scouse Girl Budgets, let's see what we can do. So, we've got 45 quid, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. So, let's just keep a five and take two 20s. So, we're adding 45 quid and I'm going to add it all to Scouse Girl, I think. So, here's what we're working on. Now then, this works out really well, actually, because these are each worth 15. 
So let's just complete pinching pennies for 45 quid. Simple. How simple is that? So let's complete this one. And I think that leaves us with 100 left for Scouse School. So this one, criminal cash is what we'll start next week. And it is, yes, it's worth 100. So we've got 20s, 10s and 5s. Okay, so we'll start that next week. So let's add this in to Scout School and see what we have all together. So we've got 200, 350 in the bank, 370, 390, 410, 425, 35, 45 and 50. 450, so 100 left. And then this will be complete. And I will again put most of this to Western Balkans. So that's kind of what I'm using these challenges for is to help me save for Western Balkans. Um, Cause it was kind of not planned <laughs> in some ways, but really want to go or really wanted to go. It's all, it's booked now, most of it's booked. So this will really help me get there. So listen, thank you so much for watching the unstuffing of the five pound challenge. This should be a grand, but I'm not going to count it. I'll save you, don't worry. But here's the stack. I will double check it. But look at that, 555 quid saved from um, just saving my fivers each week. And that's how much I could save, look at that. So we are gonna do that again next year. I can't wait to start it again and we'll see what the total is next year. So listen, thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely festive period and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.